When she was just nine years old, Rebecca Margaret Nyegenyi, who was living in Busia district, gave her life to God. Reverend Nyegenyi says she was inspired by her father, the late Reverend James Efumbi, who was also a priest. He was motivated by the life that daddy uh, exemplified in our home. And so because of that, I chose to be what I am today. She embarked on the academic journey that would enable her to join the clergy. She attained a certificate in theology, a bachelor's degree in divinity from Uganda Christian University, a master's of arts in theology in USA, and later a doctorate of philosophy in South Africa. Reverend Nyegenye served as assistant vicar and then rose to vicar between 1996 and 1998 at St. John's Church of Uganda in Busia. She was then ordained in 1997 and priested in 2000 in Bukedi Diocese. She then moved to Uganda Christian University, where she served as assistant chaplain and later as chaplain between 2002 and 2012. She is also married to Wilson Nyegenye and they have three children. Earlier this year, she was moved to All Saints Cathedral and it was here to her surprise that she was named the new provost, replacing Reverend Michael Mukwana. It is not something I ever thought that it would happen, <laughs> but it came up as the grace of God because in the church, you never determine where you want to go. Whereas the idea of serving as the first female provost was intimidating, Reverend Nyegenye says she has the confidence to handle the task. I prayed and uh, it was confirmed in my heart that it was God is calling on my life for this time to be in this position. The duties of a provost are to provide overall leadership to the cathedral ministry. However, Reverend Nyegenye plans to also focus on other projects. It's just the cry of my heart today that we can complete the cathedral in the shortest time possible. Can we be able to preach the gospel in the city as All Saints Cathedral? She hopes to use the post to address some of the challenges that the church in Uganda faces. People are being swayed and swept all sides. They are not rooted. A number of priests are not deeply trained to do the work that they do. But what does her installation as the first female provost mean for other female clergy as well as women within the church? It's becoming very clear that God is opening ways for the women to take positions in the church. The year 1994 is a historic year in the Church of England because it is the year when 32 women were first ordained to be priests in the Church of England. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.